Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, uh, Moon and as well rising. I'm on Tarot reading November 2019 and uh, bear with me just a second guys to shuffle the Tarot cards. And we are to jump right into it. Down. Anyway, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your month here is going to be the uh, Ten of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. We do have the Knights of Cups and in this uh, Tarot deck, the Knights of, Cup, the Knight of Cups is uh, representative of the King of Cups in the traditional Tarot deck. Afterwards, it is the third card which stands for the positive intentions that you can have or in other words, the things you can do throughout the month that is to be the High Priestess. Followed by the fourth card here which stands for the uh, lesson that you are to learn throughout the month or in other words, why this is all happening here, we do have the uh, Three of Cups. And the last card which stands for the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month uh, not the lesson, excuse me, but the uh, positive energies that are to support you throughout the month. Uh, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. So before we go into the reading and pick up the cards one by one, let's run them down one more time. So the first one is going to be the Ten of Swords and that is in regards to the topic and the theme of your month, followed by the Knight of Cups, which stands for the challenges that you are to face and overcome, hopefully throughout this month. Afterwards, we do have the positive intentions or also known as the what you can go for, what you can do here. We do have the High Priestess. The fourth card is going to be the lesson or why this is all happening. We do have the Three of Cups. And the last one of the Seven of Pentacles, it is in regards to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. And I'm sorry, guys, these cards just have that glare from my uh, from my lights. Um, OK, so uh, just one second here to sort out. Yeah, OK. So the first one, uh, which is the Ten of Swords, is going to be catalyzed uh, with uh, the uh, Hierophant card. And uh, does it have a glare? No, it doesn't have a glare. All right. And um, it's a bit of a, it's going to be a bit of a, a rough month. Now, first of all, we do have any uh, active enemies. And uh, these two cards literally point that most likely, um, especially if we're talking about a, um, interactions and relationships now these two cards most likely points that your trust is going to be betrayed it is just simple as that now we do have a, a breaking thing that completely 
dissolves the certain foundation you have built in between societies, certain person, you know, or a group of people, that is. But uh, these two cards in generally speaks uh, that uh, you have to abandon your current beliefs and that you or you are going to be not have to you're going to be forced to abandon certain beliefs code of conduits uh you are as well to uh recognize that a uh, certain support benev that you thought it is benevolent support is no longer at um at your disposal and it's, it's it's no longer serving you any favor additionally to that it will look that a usual counseling and usual conversations that you found meaningful back in the days again no longer serve your purpose and no longer kind of give you any anything that you can draw from it as from a benefit benefit beneficial side and for that reason, what happens it is that I do believe that this month is going to be the month of November for you, Gemini. is going to be a month where you pretty much make a retrospection. You draw a line and probably you say to yourself, girl or a boy, what are you doing? You know, you, you may basically have to drastically change something in your life into either your relationship or into either your career. And from there, it looks like that some pretty... Um, not rough, but let's say um, unyielding um, choices and decisions and as well actions are to follow from your behalf. That is to pretty much force the necessary, uh, the necessary new era that you need in your life, either into your business or either into your uh, career. Now the next card here it is uh, the challenges that you need to face and we do have this person which is uh, the uh, Knight of Cups and it is accompanied or catalyzed uh, by the Magician and that is a challenge now we do have well first of all these cards are, are a, a passive neutrals and what we do have here it is a, a person who does not give the maximum he has in regards to either um, in regards to you in general, in regards to your relationship with him, in regards to your business with him, you know, or in regards to the promise that they gave to you. It's pretty much it does look like that they do have a everything that they need in order to accomplish, you know, the common goal or the mutual goal, but for one or another reason they slack or they throw their resources finances efforts time into a different uh, direction another interpretation of these cards it is a lazy person in between these two cards someone who has the capability but it is just is way too lazy or it considers the endeavor way too big hassle <clears throat> in order to, you know, way too much of a hassle so to bother with it. Now, important thing here to acknowledge with these uh, with these couple of cards, it is that this person has pretty low opinion for themselves. I mean, it's it's like uh, they think that they have to align with um, with the world rather than to try to find their place for what they are into the world and for that reason this makes them a little bit inconsistent and a little bit uh, with lack of professionalism i would say although they want to prove themselves quite professional or quite trustworthy but for what it seems this is what is going to break up the uh, initial great hopes that you have placed into uh, this person as we saw in the first couple of cards <clears throat> And how you can uh, basically overcome that, it is just um, put a certain boundaries, at least for the time being, at least um, until this lost soul kind of finds its way. It could be a person who doesn't know how to divulge their emotions towards you, their feelings, or simply what they want or how they want to help you as well. So that leads us to the third card here, Gemini, which is in regards to the lesson that you need to learn that is going to be the High Priestess and it is accompanied by, by the Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Pentacles in the traditional, in this deck, in the traditional one, it corresponds to the Knight of Pentacles. So uh, intentional wise, uh, you should slow down your drive, your strafe, you know, and um, pretty much 
observe. It is what these couple of cards points. Now, these two cards are saying that your um, expectations, and not just expectations, but in generally the goals that you have set in front of yourself, either career or relationship-wise, are taking way too sophisticated uh, shape. They're way too complex. And for that reason, you know, you may lose track of the events that are going on around you. And for that, with these two cards, this is why it's important to slow down your emotion for a little while and allow, I really hate that expression, but it's just what it is, you know, your inner wisdom to guide, to guide you and inner wisdom is far from intuition. Now, inner wisdom, it is this experience that you do have from your past that you haven't paid attention, but it is stuck into your subconscious and from that inner wisdom, you kind of draw conclusions. And until you reach those conclusions, you shouldn't kind of take any kind of sides into the matter that it is at hand, as we, as we saw that you will have to, at the end of the day, make the retrospection and uh, do the necessary actions or take the necessary decisions beforehand here intentional wise, you need to simplify your um, your situation, kind of puts it in a simple way. Additionally to that intentional wise, um, your actions, whatever actions you decide to do throughout this month, they have to be supported with the right determinations and as well, they need to stand or by them need to stand your unyielding convictions as well. And finally, with these two cards intentional wise, you may feel that everything is way too much to you, right? I mean, all the situations, this uh, lack of, uh, this loss of trust, you know, and uh, the fact that you cannot find um, that support you need, you know, the, bene the benevolent support you need, or, or, or you can't find an answer to your questions in the existing current framework of your daily routine. These two cards points that it is time for you to seclude yourself for a little while, you know, take uh, with the Knights of um, Pentacles here, it will be advisable for you to spend some time among nature, uh, hire or rent a cottage for a week or two somewhere in the mountain you know or around the lake or maybe at the coast it doesn't really matter it's all you to kind of establish that connection i never established that connection probably it's something beautiful probably in some it's it is something that recharges you i literally don't understand it but you know it is what the card says so if that floats your boat you are uh, you are the man the way how you guys Americans say it so the next one it is why this is all happening here and we do have the three of cups that is the lesson <clears throat> and it is accompanied by or catalyzed here by the ace of pentacles and that is pretty far-fetched lesson and I don't think think that uh, you are going to learn uh, the full extension of it throughout this month because what the lesson here points uh, is that you need to find your your hive all right you need to find your hive you need to find those people who are to share your uh, vision you need to find those people that you can without any obstacles or without any plight without any boundaries to express the emotional yearnings of yours and not only just yearnings but as well the emotional policies that you are forming with a certain situations and with a certain people that is so take it that way you need to find the hive word all of the uh, all of the precipitants into uh, um, <clears throat> into this uh, hive are to be your soulmate and soulmate doesn't mean lover guys soulmate just mean that that is a person with similar standpoints you know it's just your and his or, or her soul are just in the same vibration all right it's kind of like you have similar interests, you do have similar visions, you do have a similar way of thinking, similar emotions, and etc. etc. And only then it is where you're gonna find an opportunity to further your projects, your goal, your relationships as well. Or not only then, but at least this is gonna make it by far 
very uh, much much more easier for you i not to mention that this is the way how you are to start experiencing content and as well exhilaration ecstasy at some points establishing those for harmoniously flowing um, flawless relationships let's say with those people from your hive and additionally to that with some of them you may be able to establish as well a successful businesses and uh, last card it is in regards to uh, the energies that are to help you here we do have the seven of pentacles and it is catalyzed here by the three of pentacles so that is um that regards to um efficiency in a sense of that uh, it's difficult to describe it efficiency in a sense of that sometimes well we do have an expression into our country we say that it is better to uh, have a company of um, of a smart of a smart one and to break rocks rather than to have a lunch with the dumb one and to pay the bill at the end and he to pay you the bill at the end so it's it's kind of like that these energies will my point here is that these energies will help you to pick up the right company of yours to pick up the right people which are to um, support you through your development and with which you are going to have quite deep and meaningful conversations as well cooperations if you will also in which you are not going to feel yourself deprived because uh, imagine this or kind of like everybody had that kind of a situation in their life where they kind of cooperated regardless if it's going to be a, a relationship or if what if it was a rela in relationship or in business but they kind of felt that they they give more than the other one and the other one it isn't really kind of like a pushing themselves well this is kind of the situation we do have with you here uh, Gemini in the month of November and you pretty much need to sap this one you need to kind of like draw a line because otherwise you are going to be abused until you under until you realize that or um, the way we say it here in in Bulgaria it's that we should not allow anybody to climb on our heads. So that being said, Gemini, this was your monthly tower reading, November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.